In 1908, Victoria cricket players applied for permission to upgrade their pitch in the low area of Beacon Hill Park and build a clubhouse. But some lawn bowlers submitted a similar request, igniting a year-long war of words. In the end, the Beacon Hill Park Lawn Bowling Club was incorporated. A modest clubhouse was built, and in June of 1909, the first bowling green in B.C. was opened. William Oliphant was the club's first president, and in 1914, the Beacon Hill Club was renamed the Victoria Lawn Bowling Club. World War I put a crimp on play, but older members maintained the grounds until a post-war spurt resulted in a second green being added. The club's first trophies were unveiled, a peace cup and two miniature totems commissioned from a First Nations carver. At about that time, the ladies grew tired of being spectators, and the Victoria Ladies Lawn Bowling Club was formed. The clubhouse became rather crowded, so an addition was added for the ladies. A successful international men's tournament resulted in the proceeds being used to build the Burnside Lawn Bowling Club. It was soon full of members. The CPR Sports Club had a lawn bowling green in James Bay, but in the late 20s relocated to behind the newly constructed Crystal Gardens Pool. During those early years, the Victoria Club added to its traditions with the introduction of the Victoria Doubles Wilkerson Shield Trophy. Dave and Bob DeWar, as well as Alex McKeechee Sr., were the most prominent men competitors, and Alex's wife Mary was collecting many of the ladies' awards. The Victoria West Brotherhood constructed their greens and clubhouse in 1930. A Mr. Stanley donated a Scotch Pears Cup, and Victoria had its own Stanley Cup playoffs. Ratepayers in rural Sanders planted a green near Cedar Hill Crossroad, and the Lake Hill Lawn Bowling Club officially opened in 1932. Its 11 members paid an annual fee of $5. The Victoria Club had such a reputation that its annual holiday tournament drew players from as far away as California, with matches being played at all the local clubs. World War II halted the sport's growth, but in the 1950s, new and old members were again enjoying grand days on the bowling greens. An Oak Bay Lawn Bowling Club built greens on the old Willows Racetrack property in 1957, and the Gordon Head Club was established on the Lambrick farmlands. In 1960, as the sport marked its first half-century in Victoria, Tom McEachy emerged as the top men's competitor. He was also one of Canada's top bowling executives when a new Victoria clubhouse was proposed in 1980. The men's and ladies' clubs amalgamated in order to fund the new clubhouse, which opened in time for their 75th anniversary in 1984. That same year, an eighth local lawn bowling association was formed with the opening of the Central Saanich Lawn Bowling Club. In 1994, when Victoria hosted the Commonwealth Games, lawn bowling gained a brand new facility and club with the opening of the Juan de Fuca Lawn Bowling Greens. Not quite as classy, the Sydney Lawn Bowling Club opened with its clubhouse in a Quonset hut. By 1998, they were bowling at the area's 10th club with 150 members paying tribute to the Scots game at their annual Haggis Day Tournament. From installing and manicuring the greens to maintaining the clubhouses, many men and women have volunteered to help develop lawn bowling in Victoria over the past century. We are delighted to honour them all as we mark the 100th anniversary of the club that started it all by inducting into the Greater Victoria Sports Hall of Fame, the Victoria Lawn Bowling Club.